You want to have some fun with brush glazing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to brush glaze on the pottery wheel. Hi, Marie here with a brush glazing video for you. For the most part, potters use the pottery wheel for throwing and trimming but it's also great for decorating. Brush glazing is more time consuming compared to dipping and pouring, but you can create more patterns with different brush glazing techniques that makes it totally worth doing, like glazing on the wheel. I'll show you how you can brush glaze on the wheel to create some cool looking pottery. Like all my other videos, the supplies used in this video are listed for you in the show notes below. Let's get started. Today we'll be glazing a bowl and a plate. Before glazing, there are always a few things that are worth going over to help you get the best results. This is probably the least favorite part of glazing, but the most important. Always clean your bisqueware first with a clean, damp sponge. This gets any dust or debris off of your pottery to help ensure the glaze bonds nicely to your piece. When handling your bisqueware, always make sure your hands are clean and dry or wear gloves. I always apply wax resist. It's easier to wipe the glaze off the bottom when you're done glazing. and apply a little wax resist to my plate also. I also have a video on 21 glazing tips for you to check out. I left a link for you in the show notes below. I'm starting with Amico Obsidian for the bowl. Always put your glaze through a strainer unless the directions indicate not to, like crystal glazes. And always mix your glaze well. Handheld blenders do work the best. Now we're ready to glaze. A plastic bat works great for glazing. Always make sure you clean the glaze off of your bat and wheel. You don't want any glaze getting into your clay. For many glazing techniques, you would glaze the inside first, so you're not handling the glaze part as much when you're glazing the inside. But since we're glazing on the wheel, we're not handling the outside, so we can glaze the outside first. I'll be using this small hack brush for the bowl. Have your wheel spinning nice and slow. You don't want to go too fast. Get a good amount of glaze on your brush and just let the wheel do the work. Now this is the normal way that you glaze but I'm not normal. And since we're on the wheel and I have two hands, I'm gonna use this applicator bulb. Here's a neat little trick to glaze without stopping to constantly dip your brush into the glaze for more glaze. Just take the applicator and squeeze it first and dip it into your glaze and let go and the glaze will go right into the applicator bulb. Put the applicator tip on. Dip your brush in the glaze. Just hold it and squeeze the applicator bulb. I like this size because it doesn't squeeze out too much glaze at once. Works really well. 
See how it's coming out in a nice stream? And the brush is small enough to control the amount of glaze. Load up your brush and squeeze the applicator. Now I'm going to apply one coat of Indigo Float with the help of my hack brush and applicator bulb. Get your brush loaded with glaze and let's apply a nice thick coat. The wheel going slowly. Here we go. And squeeze it on. I'd like to take a moment out to thank you for watching, and I have a quick request. For any longtime viewers or new subscribers, go down to the comments section below and introduce yourself. Most important to me is knowing what my viewers want to see for future videos. Leave any comments or ideas for what it is you may want to learn or see me demonstrate. All your ideas will be added to a list, and who knows, maybe turn into a future video. And of course, before you leave, hit the like button. Back to glazing. I'm going to glaze the bottom with deep fire brick. It's a nice thick coat. There. I'm going to put three bands on my plate. The first one will be with Amico Marigold. The second will be with the Amico Deep Fire Brick. And the third band will be with Amico Cosmic Tea Dust. Start with our Marigold. Now it's time for some Amico Deep Fire Brick. Load up your brush and applicator bulb and spin nice and slow. Now it's time for a few bands of Amico Cosmic Tea Dust. I have my applicator bulb all filled up and my large detail brush. And here we go.
Remove any glaze on the bottom with a clean, damp sponge. See, easily the glaze comes off with the wax resist. Looks pretty good. And I'll do the foot of the plate also once that dries. Then into the scut kiln it goes for a final fire at cone five. I like how the bowl turned out. And the plate also. Decorating just became more fun. These are just a few ideas for glaze brushing on the wheel. I'll bet you can come up with a few of your own. In fact, I know you can. All the cool designs you can create, it's endless. You watching helps me to create more videos like this one. Now, head on over to my under glazing with the sponge video or this three different ways to wedge video. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.